hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is part 8 of our c4 beginners tutorial series and in this video guys we're gonna talk about how to use increment and decrement operators in a c program and later on if you still have time we're going to discuss or we're going to uh, start discussing relational operators and how we can use inside or how we can use it inside our C program. Okay, so basically, guys, increment and decrement operators are um, useful operators, and it is generally used to minimize the calculation. So, um, let me show you an example. So, in order to increment a value inside a C program, we do it like this: plus plus, and then the name of the variable. Let me do it here so you can see it clearly. Plus, plus, and then the variable. Okay? Plus, plus, and then the variable. So it means that x equals x plus 1. Okay? Remember, plus, plus, x means x equals uh, x plus 1. And of course, in the same manner, when we say minus minus x, it means that x equals x minus 1. Okay? So this is how you increment and decrement a value inside a C program. But there is also a way. Um, it is called the postfix. It is postfix because we place the operator or the plus symbol after the variable x plus plus but it it also means that um, x equals x plus one and of course when you say x minus minus still it means x equals x minus one okay so you get the idea this is how you increment and decrement um, inside a C program okay now uh, there's a difference or a slight difference between having plus plus X instead of X plus plus or minus minus X instead of min, uh, X minus minus okay so I'm going to show you that in a simple program so basically what we're going to do here is we will have a two variable so two variable which is a which is equal to 5 and then B which is equal to 5 also so I'm going to show you the effect of postfix and prefix okay so again this one is the prefix okay and then this is postfix okay so let's comment this out. So I'm going to show you the effect of postfix and prefix in this particular example. So int a equals 5 and b equals 5 also. And then um, in here we set we set the value of a and b equal to 5. Okay? So basically what we can do right now is print and decrement decrement each time, okay? And then uh, we can use the variable a for our postfix. Use a for postfix and use b or variable b for prefix okay so we can do this by uh, using the printf method and then um, uh, backslash n and then percent d okay and then percent d because we're, we're having to display or we, we're going to display both the value of a and b okay so we're going to use the postfix here a minus minus 
and then this one is for minus minus b. So again, this is postfix and this is prefix, and then they are set uh, or, or the value of these two variables are set uh, a equals to 5 and b equals to 5. And then we can end this with a semicolon. And of course, we can do the same. We can do the same. We can do another one. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six lines. Uh, so we, we only need five. And I'm going to um, show you and demonstrate what is the effect of postfix and prefix. So for you to understand, here we have taken the value of A and then of course the, taken the value of B and then we apply postfix and prefix. So if we try to run this, build and run, as you can see, the value is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the value of B is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So it means that if we use the prefix, okay, which is the case here, minus minus B, so it automatically um, uh, decrease the value of our variable by 1, whereas here, uh, it displays the value of a still 5 and then later on 4 and then in the third line 3, the fourth line 2 and the fifth line is uh, 1. Okay, And then of course in the prefix it decreases the value by 1 and then 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Okay, So that's how you uh, do it the increment and decrement in a C program and this is quite useful if you know if you are working with for loops which we will discuss later on in this particular series okay now let's move on to the next operator which is the relational operators if we have increment and decrement we also have the relational operators relational operators so basically, there are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six um, relational operators. And uh, the, the first one is equal, equal. Okay. So basically, we're just checking if something is equal to or a variable is equal to some variable. Okay. Is equal to. And then we have the... Um, exclamation point and then equal so it means is not equal so basically uh, by this we're just checking if a certain value is not equal to another value and then of course we do have the greater than okay greater than and then we have less than and then, of course, we have the greater than or equal to. So, greater than, greater than or equal to. And less than or equal to. Okay. So, basically, um, we're just checking the relationship or like the relation between two values if it is equal if it is not equal if it is greater than less than or these two comparison or relation or relational operator um, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to a certain value okay and then of course um, we can use this especially in a if statement in and we're going to discuss that later on in this particular series so basically if you want to check if something is equal or not equal or greater than 
then we can use the relational operators. So we have to remember this. This is one of the most important concept in programming. So the relational operators. Okay. So I think that's all there is to it, guys, for this tutorial. And in the next video, we're going to discuss the other operators. So for example, the logical operators, the bitwise operators, and of course, the assignment operators, and many more. So if you want to learn more about C programming language, make sure to watch the next video. So see you in the next video, guys.